extravaganza. Rom extravaganza. Welcome to Kalle's Cowbells, this uh, YouTube podcast with me, Kalle Mathiesen. And today the podcast is a drum extravaganza. There will be a lot of drums and drum-related music. I'm sitting here in a resting area for cars just outside Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, I have my car here and all my drums. They're set up and right now you can see a picture on the screen. Uh, where you can see how I put up my drums and where I am actually. I just took it a few minutes ago. And you can hear the dri- the cars passing by. There's still a lot of cars on the on the highway because the time right now is two minutes to midnight. Um, and it's dark. And it's good that it's dark because that gets me into the right mood because I have to play some heavy metal real soon in a few minutes. You're wondering why are you sitting on a on a resting area. Uh, there are two reasons. Because I can. And because I think the drums really sound great here. Uh, there is a bridge. I'm just sitting under a bridge also. And the, uh, the acoustics are amazing. You could hear it in the in the intro song. That song was just a little uh, jungle-like uh, thing I just played. Jammed with my loop station. I have my bass here also so I can loop the bass. And sing through a microphone. This microphone. Okay, that's all the setup talk we need for now. Uh, this is a podcast where I try to play music live here uh, into the into my computer. Everything is running on batteries, actually. That's why I can do it here. Um, my laptop is on batteries. My loop station, my bus loop station is on batteries. So, yeah. And I try to play music that... Uh, <laughs> that was a big bus... I pl- try to play music that uh, where I combine opposites. I really believe that when opposites meet, beautiful music will appear. The best example for that is when I tried to combine uh, death metal with children's music. And when I did that, uh, a new music style came out of it. And that music style is children's tell. I think all beautiful things in life come when you when you combine opposites. When you combine a, combine a man and a woman, new life will can and will appear. It's amazing. So that's what I'm trying to do here in Callas Cowbells. And I also uh, always ask people on the uh, on Facebook what I should play. And I asked people on Facebook uh, because I knew I wanted I wanted to do a drum extravaganza. So I asked people who who is the biggest drummer ever, who is the biggest to have ever lived. And not only like, like technique-wise, uh, uh, chops-wise, also like who's the biggest composer, and 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 human being. And there was a lot of uh, people who who uh, who wrote, and uh, we had a heated debate because there's a lot of feelings involved when you have to to name the biggest composer ever, uh, no, the biggest drummer ever, the, the biggest drum composer ever, and drummer. Uh, I have to uh, apologize right now because my English is so bad. And you're asking yourself, why don't you just speak Danish? You are Dane. Because I want to go worldwide. And my first podcast had like over 200 views. So there's a, <laughs> there's a, there's a, I know where, uh, I know what I have to do. Uh, there's a lot of hard work ahead, but, but I'm going worldwide. So it's in English and my English will get better. I promise it will get better. Okay. But yeah, I asked people who is the biggest drum and a uh, heated debate, a lot of feelings. And a lot of people said Lars Ulrich from Metallica. And a lot of people said Steve Gadd. And I think it couldn't be Steve Gadd. I've never heard a Steve Gadd composition in my life. He's an amazing drummer. But but he had never he has never composed a song, I think. I I've, I don't know any way. But then Lars Ulrich, uh, yeah. I don't agree, but uh, I've taken Lars Ulrich. 
uh, because he is a rock star, and he has comp- he's he's a, uh, a millionaire because of his uh, his compositions. I think he co-wrote um, uh, Enter Sandman, and that's amazing. That's a good riff. It's a good riff. You can't deny that. But is he a good drummer? I don't know. Is he a good person? I, I don't know. I really think he's like uh, he's like heavy metals uh, Gollum from R- Lord of the Rings. He really reminds me of Gollum. Like Gollum, he he started out as a as a normal person, but then he got really really thin and lost all his hair and his his soul disappeared. And uh, and uh, why did his soul disappear? Money. His ring is money. With Gollum, it's it's more exotic. It's a golden ring, but with Lars Ulrich, it's only money. He got money, and suddenly, all all the things he stood for disappeared. Yeah, and that's what that's what capitalism does to people. I I believe. But I totally get it. I, if you don't uh, if you don't uh, join in on the capitalism wagon, <laughs> you just totally alone and if you want to play music you have to do crazy stuff like sit on a resting place for cars and play drums or or be a busker and and be totally alone so yeah i i totally get that he chose money i totally get it but uh now i'm gonna play some last Ulrich music a song he also co-wrote i think and uh I've tried to combine it with the totally opposite, and that's a song by uh, by Pharrell Williams. Uh, I don't want to name the song. I think you know it. But here is the first song for the night. Lars Ulrich meeting Pharrell Williams. And I'm going to stand up with some bass to loop some bass. Here we go. This is now. There's still a lot of cars on the highway. I thought it would be more silent. 
Oh, not a, almost not anybody. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say uh, there's also a competition on this uh, podcast, just as there was on the first co- uh, podcast. If you can name all the songs that I've uh, played tonight uh, in this podcast, and uh, and you can and uh, if you can name them and write them down in an email and send it to me, either on Facebook, uh, Callis World Tour on Facebook, uh, or on an email. Everything will stand below here in the in on the YouTube page. You can see the email uh, where you should write. But if you can do that, you can win a Callis World Tour CD. You have to name all the artists and all the songs I've played, and not the first song. The Jungle song was just a Callis and jam. So don't you don't have to mention that, but all other songs you have to mention in an email. Then you can win an Callis World Tour CD. Uh, on the first podcast, uh, a guy called Mikkel won it. He actually named all the songs with composers and everything. It was amazing because the first podcast was a bass, bass extravaganza and there was a lot of songs. So amazing. Mikkel, congratulations. Uh, the CD you got with me will be in a 30 years time when I'm really really big all over the world you can sell it on eBay for six euros or something and then you've earned six euros just by listening to a podcast amazing so tonight you can do the same so you have to uh, name the songs I just played with Pharrell and Lars Ulrich and uh, yeah and now I'm gonna move on because I also asked uh, because I think maybe Phil Collins is one of the biggest drummers ever because not because he's a, a good drummer he is a good drummer but but because I really think if you talk to like people who aren't musicians and say name me a drummer I think a lot would name Phil Collins and I ask if people on Facebook who is Phil Collins's uh, uh, opposite and again there was a lot of good answers but the one that stood out to me was uh, the Finnish heavy metal rock band Lordi the band who won um uh, sorry who won um the melodie grand prix the Eu- eurovision song contest a few years ago so now you're going to hear phil collins combined with lordy and i'm going to start out uh, just playing the drums and pl- i'm going to uh, try to play the, uh, a really classical drum fill phil collins made uh, uh, a fill he he did in uh, in in the air tonight i'm going to play that a lot and it's going to and and the drum uh, the drums in this song is going to be played uh, a, a bit wild i'm going to like try to play it, the drums as uh, two of my heroes would play them uh, animal from Robert show and uh, keith moon from the who so here is uh, <laughs> phil collins combined <laughs> with lordy and uh, imagine uh, Animal and Kiss Moon on the drums. Here we go. Just 
Yeah, can you name all the songs you've heard until now and also the rest of the of the podcast? You can win a Kellis World Tour CD. You just have to write an email. Uh, what you can't hear right now, of course, in this podcast is that it's very cold outside. I've got a bit warm by playing the drums, but I think I need to go into the car and get uh, my hands warmed up. So now I'm going to play a song from the CD you can win. And it's uh, because when you talk about drums, you also have to talk about whole countries that have dedicated their folk music to um, to drums. There's a lot of countries in, in Africa where drums are really, really important in the folk music. And, of course, Brazil. I love Brazil. I've been to Brazil twice to study their music and to play uh, on the streets and concerts. Uh, and I really, really love Brazil. So, so I've made a song where I've tried to combine... Uh, Brazilian samba with uh, its opposite blues music and again when I did that a new musical style came out and this musical style is called Blamba so now you're gonna hear a song from the CD a song called I'm so happy I could die remember that title if you want to get into the competition hello a song I did I'm so happy I could die here it is Blues music combined with samba.
That was a lot of drums, so yeah, it's the big drum extravaganza, so of course you had to have Blumbe. I'm actually uh, getting close to the end of this podcast because, uh, <laughs> yeah, just because it shouldn't be too long, I think. I hate podcasts who are too long, that are too long, I should say. Uh, and for the last song, I'm going to play a song that uh, was inspired by yet another uh, question I asked on uh, Facebook I asked people uh, what is the opposite of a drum solo and again I had a really a lot of nice uh, answers uh, one guy wrote uh, the opposite of a drum solo is uh, a string players in therapy <laughs> I really like that uh, and and a girl named Tina uh, wrote uh, the opposite of a drum solo is uh, choir music Especially boys singing high-pitched uh, and women's choirs. Long notes. And I really thought when I heard that, that's uh, that's brilliant. So now you're going to hear the last song for this podcast. is a song I wrote also uh, from that uh, idea she gave me. I wrote a song called Head, Head. Remember that for the competition. Hello. And, um, and here I've tried to combine drum solos with the... Uh, with with choir music and and for this song i made uh, a a beat on the drums that's really it's a bit complicated and it's um yeah it's a bit complicated but it's a still it's still a beat so i'm trying to think out of the box not use the normal beats like and i'm going to sing uh, through a thing that makes my voice go an octave d- deeper uh, a pitch shifter, uh, so uh, I, so the bass is also actually voice. Everything, chords, melodies is voice. For the for the last part, I've, I've sampled a girl named Marie Ingerslev who sings a lot of uh, voices. So yeah, now you're really gonna hear um, uh, choir and drums. I hope you like it. It's the last song. Underneath, you can also see a link to. Uh, to a version of head where I uh, played it inside where you can see where I could put up a video camera so you can see how I do it with the with loop station and effects with the voice yeah uh, have a really nice uh, time until we see each other again again sorry for my English and, uh, and check out Kallis World Tour on, on YouTube if, it, if you think this is funny right Kallis World Tour and you'll see a lot of uh, funny videos I think the next uh, podcast will be in uh, two weeks time and it will be uh, a voice extravaganza so a lot of focus on the voice take care and here is head bye bye
Sie wollen 